Hey guys, welcome to Indie Game Hustle. My name is Charles, and in this video, we're going to take a look at a couple things. Um, in this video, basically, um, I made some changes to my game over scene. Um, before we basically get into maybe making a level and you know figuring out what our cinematic may be, maybe what the story is going to be, uh, that sort of thing, um, I made some changes to my game over scene. And uh, let me go ahead and get into that now. So let's see here. So let me go to my player. I'm going go to prefabs. I'm going to go to characters. I'm going to go to player. And inside my player, what I have now is a depth trigger. And basically, my depth trigger is basically saying um, on the attribute change, the player's health on change. So when it detects a change, it needs to do a set of conditions. So in terms of these conditions, it's basically saying um, if the attribute of the health value is less than or equal to zero, so the health, right, is less than or equal to zero, and we have the player's life is greater than or equal to one, remember, greater than or equal to one, then it wants to do some math. So basically, we're going to reduce this by one. We're going to basically take the player's lives minus one, and then we're going to show the player message player died. We're going to assign the bool to true here. The player died to true. We're going to wait three seconds, and then we're going to load this player lives UI scene, right? And then, so what I'm going to do here now is have a trigger that says game over as well. Before I think, and I can't even remember because I made some changes, I think I had the game over and the conditions and everything in here. So I think I changed it to be more like this. So now I have a trigger specifically for game over. So this trigger is basically saying when it recognizes the variable player live changes, right? So when the player lives change, so let's go to, uh, let's go to preferences and I'm gonna take a look here. So when player lives change, when this variable changes, do something it's going to check for something so we're going to check for these conditions so if player lives reaches zero so if it's less than or equal to zero so the moment that this trigger is less than or equal zero we want it to wait for four seconds we want a debug screen to go to game over screen and then we have basically load so in really in reality all this is doing really because you can ignore debug.break, because actually I'm going to remove that. And then you can ignore go to game over screen. I can leave it, but that's it's all it is is a debug message. So all we really have here is a wait for four seconds and then a load scene game over. And then it loads the game over scene. And that's how we're taking care of the death and the game over, right? And we're actually putting this inside the player. Now, this could probably be um maybe part of the game manager which uh i could do that um but i think for now i'm gonna leave it in the player just because it's it's associated with the death of the player and so if there's any issues or something pops up i can look here directly and see what's going on all right cool so let's go ahead and just verify because i think i was having issues and forgive me if i should have probably worked on that when the camera was rolling but uh, that's fine. Um, I just make sure that I go over any changes that I may make. Uh, let's see here. So if I were to hit play now, and let's go ahead and hit play. All right, cool. So we have our player starting to look like a game. So I'm going to go ahead and die uh, a few times. So I'm going to jump off this edge and we're going to have the player died. Everything reduces as intended here and then it takes us to remaining lives too which is great and then it should bring us back into our scene at the checkpoint and the checkpoint is really just this zero spot here and then i'm gonna go ahead and die again and so now we have one life left okay and then of course it takes us to our remaining live screen and then i'm gonna die one more time because i only have one life left and all right almost there 
<laughs> All right, cool. So player died. Awesome. All right, and so now we have our game over. It's gonna game over after. It's gonna go to the main menu after about five seconds, and then it's gonna pop us into the main menu screen. Perfect. So that's what we want. Um, if you guys are having any issues with that, just reach out to me in Discord, and we can work it out together. But for the most part, those are the basic changes that I made uh, to this particular project, right? All right, so another thing that uh, I'm going to start thinking about, let me go ahead and hit play here, is what we wanna do uh, going forward is work on targeting enemies. Um, we want to do that. We also wanna install some new assets that can work with Game Creator. Uh, there's gonna be two new modules that we want to go and start thinking about. Uh, one of those modules is called the shooter module, and then the other is the combat module. Um, the combat module was created by Fire Chicken, and so uh, that's going to be a module that was created by a community member, which is a really nice module. And so we're going to go into that in the next few videos here, especially once we start talking about behaviors and when we start talking about uh, general just enemies and how they're reacting on the screen. I don't know how smart the enemies are going to be yet, um, but typically in a platformer, they're not that smart, right? They just kind of wander around the scene. And if they notice the player, they usually chase after the player. And then maybe after a few seconds, we can have the enemy uh, stop chasing and kind of go back to where they were originally, right? So we want to try to do that sort of thing, okay? And after we do that, um, another thing I want to th start thinking about is actual the game, right? So we've done so many things after so many videos. We want to start making some levels. We want to start making, uh, getting, kind of blocking out our world. And, and that's the direction I think I want to go with this so that we can start thinking about other things like dialogue, right? We can't really have dialogue without our player in the scene and start thinking about that. So um, those are going to be our next few videos. Um, I'm not exactly sure what our next video is going to be just yet, but um, it's probably going to be along the idea of, of targeting an enemy. I think that would probably be it. And then after doing that, um, we may start talking about actual the cinematic screen or the first world or the first level that we're going to be in. Um, so yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. We'll get to that here promptly. All right. See you. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. To stay up to date on the latest 3D platforming tutorial, feel free to subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support, you can find me on Patreon or of course you can hit me up on Discord. I like to talk about whatever project you guys are working on. Of course, thanks for hanging with me. Your support is always appreciated. As always, remember, Never give up and keep moving forward. Peace.